Well, the Spokane Fire Department is mourning the loss of a fellow firefighter today. John Knighton battled cancer for three years, and last night he lost that fight and was given a final salute from his team on Ladder 4. KXOI 4's Aaron Luna has the story. And Nadine, we are outside of Station 4. You can see the flag behind me is at half staff. Anyone who knew John will tell you, John Knighton was a fighter, not only of fires, but a fighter against the horrible disease called cancer. A fighter for everyone who's going through the same struggle as he was. Unfortunately, it was his time to lay down the gloves. Sunday night, firefighter John Knighton lost a battle he knew he couldn't win. One he still insisted on fighting. He was uh, an informal leader at Station 4 and on the department. It was in January of 2010 when Knighton was diagnosed with multiple myeloma, a rare terminal cancer. His fellow firefighters and the community rallied to help pay for his treatments. He was even able to return to work, but the battle with cancer and a brain tumor eventually wore him down. Doctors told him to go home. Ladder 4 was there to take him. At the time, his wife Shauna said this. And watching him <laughs> climb in there for the last time and being brought home, that was a huge honor to him. Last night, Ladder 4 was there again for one final ride. Uh, the company draped his body with an American flag. They carried him from his home and saluted him one last time. Washington State Patrol escorted the engine to the funeral home. The fighter had given his all. He wanted to continue giving. He wanted to donate his organs. He wanted to, you know, try experimental medications and, and do everything he could to help out anybody else that would be suffering from the, the same disease. So that's just the kind of person he was. A former Marine, Knighton was also voted top recruit for the Spokane Fire Department in 1994. He gave me a hard time. I think he gave everybody a hard time and uh, probably appropriately so. He was a uh, he was a pretty funny guy. But he saved the hardest time for himself, as evident in this interview weeks before his death. Yeah, I thank God for every day that it's me, <laughs> not one of my kids or my wife. You know, I could take anything. On the outside, it's business as usual at the Spokane Fire Department. On the inside, hearts are heavy. Well, simultaneously, we have the 18 or 19 firefighters that were lost in Arizona, too, that, that happened yesterday. So it's been overall a pretty tragic last 24 hours for everybody in our discipline or in our industry. Because Knighton's death was considered a death on the line of duty and with his military background, he will be given a burial with full military honors. Stay with KXOY 4 News for all the details on when and where. Reporting live at Station 4, Aaron Luna, KXOY 4 News.